When you park your car near LAX, watch out because you may be taken for a ride. Thieves taking your belongings. Investigative reporter David Goldstein set up his hidden cameras to catch them red handed. What'd you find? Well, red handed with seven cameras in the car, too. Wow. Well, we've heard from viewers who said their personal items were stolen after they parked their cars at lots surrounding LAX. So we set up a car with hidden cameras to find out what happens. Come on. Why don't you want to look at the video? Hey, 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 hey. This parking attendant put his hand on our camera. Hey, let go of the camera. After our undercover cameras caught him red handed. Look at that. Look at that. Look at you taking money right there. It is not. When you park your car at lots near LAX, employees know it'll be there a while. So when you come back, some of your belongings may be gone. I had all these things stolen out of my car. That's what happened to Chance Reardon in January. This is where the uh, theft took place. He showed us his car and spoke with us on FaceTime from Washington State. You know, it's like here I am paying them money to store my car and, you know, and then they're ripping me off on top of it. Reardon valet parked his car at Sam's parking near LAX. Show you this. When he returned three days later and opened the center console, he claims money, earbuds, and a flashlight were missing. Was your car broken into? No, because they had the key. And he's not alone. We found dozens of complaints online about items stolen from cars at many lots near LAX. So we installed seven hidden cameras in our undercover car. A total of $60. And left some money in the center compartment. Our undercover producer then valet parked it at various lots near the airport. At the parking space on La Cienega, she left the car. You can see the attendant drive it to the indoor lot. He never touches the money. But when another attendant got in to deliver the car when she came back, the first thing he does is look in the center console. Then he flicks open the middle compartment and finds our money. He starts going through the bills, eventually setting some down in the middle and putting the rest back. You can see him deliver the car, and afterwards we found a few dollars was missing. And this is what we're your employees. We showed the video to the manager, Walter Bolanos. What, what do you think of what I, you see I'm here? I'm telling you, this is totally, totally wrong. It's, it's totally, theft. This is totally wrong. Another day, we parked at Sam's Parking on 96th Street. That's the same lot where Reardon had his items stolen. Our surveillance camera catches the attendant getting in the car. Inside, you see him sit down, start it up, and after he adjusts the seat, he finds our money and proceeds to count it out. He closes the door, then counts it again, but puts it all back. As he pulls out of the spot, he gets on his phone. There's no audio, so we don't know what's being said, but at one point he stops, puts the phone down, then counts the money one more time, but again puts it back. Later, we showed it to the manager, Sean Shalea. Is this suspicious? It's very. It's he counts it twice? And then puts it back. Was he notifying a fellow employee? Well, when we went to pick the car up, another attendant gets in, and within seconds, he reaches for that money as if he knew it was there. He raises his eyebrows as he looks at the bills, then pulls out a 20, a 5, another 5. He puts the rest of the money back, then folds up his newfound cash, and stuffs our money into his jacket. I'm David Goldstein with CBS 2 News. Can I show you some video a second, sir? No. Why don't you take a look no, at... No, no, no. A few weeks later, we confronted the man who denied it was him, even though he was wearing the same orange shirt. That's not you? No. no. That's not you? No. Who is... I don't take nothing from nobody. Hey, it's not you? No. You're wearing the same shirt. How can you say go. it's not you? Go. And we also realized he was the same attendant who took the money from our car at the parking space as well. But he wasn't interested in looking at the evidence. Why don't you want to look at it? I don't want to look at you either. Why should you take my bishop for? Come on. Why don't you want to look at the come video? On, hey, 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 come hey, come on, hey, 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 the manager says he never suspected that the man was stealing. Thank you for that because it alerts us, keeps us on our toes. And stealing money wasn't the only thing we caught with our undercover cameras. This attendant seemed to be more focused on his phone than on the road. Check out his eyes in the rearview mirror. He's looking down as he drives our car for about five minutes to a parking spot. And this guy sat in our car for almost six minutes after he parked it, just looking at his phone. And finally, this attendant found our money. We thought he was going to steal it, 
but it turns out he put it in the center console, perhaps for safekeeping. But of course, not everyone was as honest as him. You're stealing money out of the car. Forget it. Don't talk to me. Of course, the best advice is don't leave items or money in your car, but attendants bank on the fact that many people are late getting to the airport in a hurry and just forget to do the right thing. Pat?